it, about 140 this uh, this morning. Uh, we had uh, patrol units uh, out searching the area, and uh, they came across a black Honda Civic. Uh, they couldn't under, they couldn't read its uh, license plate. Uh, so they attempted to make the stop to uh, identify the car. The car failed to stop. Gave them a chase for about three minutes to these back neighborhoods, uh, back neighborhood streets. Uh, clearly, our, our suspect knows the area. Uh, came down the street here at, uh, at, at Sela, where uh, came to this dead end, which is right down here. One of the uh, homeowners has put up a wire that's approximately four feet off the ground, which the car was able to get underneath, but the uh, pursuing unit was unable to, so it wound up striking the wire and, and coming to a stop right there. Right after the uh, right after they got past that wire, uh, the suspect jumped out of the vehicle and uh, ran. This uh, this dead area back over here is actually a, a water retention pond, which thank God is a, a very low. Uh, this, the vehicle went down there. The the passenger of the vehicle wound up staying in, in the vehicle and is cooperating with us to to find the driver. But we were unable to locate the driver once we got our perimeter set up. So did uh, the passenger say why the driver would have fled? No, he's telling us that he just kind of knows him, um, was just getting a ride from him, is, is not really providing any information of what they were doing or, or, or why the why the driver felt like he needed to run. Um, but he has given us the name and, and we are tracking that lead right now.